Hey guys, I'm Colwyn. I'm back with another Transformers video, and today I've got Transformers Dark of the Moon, Mech Tech, Human Alliance, Backfire, and I don't have them anymore. It's supposed to be Human Alliance with Spike Witwicky, but instead I have Sergeant Detour here. Sergeant Detour is basically the same figure as the Witwicky one, except for he's got red instead of straight black. Now, Human Alliance is a really cool series where they had little full-out human minifigures, posable. This guy's got like some, some, um, that looks like an airplane jet fighter helmet thing going on. And he's got some body armor. And his posability, he's got universal jointed shoulders with that swivel and that ball socket. He's got swivels at the wrists. He's got a swivel at the head. Nothing at the waist. Universal jointed hips and universal jointed knees so he does have a pretty good posability for a figure that's only about two inches tall but the nice thing is that he looks like a two inch tall person the proportions are good he looks pretty decent next to this guy this here is backfire and yeah you can already see that backfire's robot mode is kind of janky this is a, a scout class figure from revenge of the fallen uh that's hubcap we have scourge we've got Film Noir Spider Man, and we've got Soda Can. Let's bring in the car guys. And let me go ahead and put Mr. Detour over there. And like, he looks okay, but you can already see he's got the weird tires hanging off the back. Those tires actually outright kill any form of articulation. Like, he's got ball jointed hips and a thigh swivel, but then those knees try to work, and then you end up jamming the wheel all up, and there's that wheel kibble. Like, it moves out of the way, but it's ugly. It's distracting. And then these arms. There's this weird vertical butterfly joint in here that's really not for articulation. That's only for transformation. He's got a swivel at the shoulder and another hinge at the shoulder. No real elbows because that's his hand attached directly to the elbow. And his only weapons are these 3mm C-clip weapons that look like, like mounted machine guns. These can't even be wielded by a human being. These are, these are mounted machine guns. A pair of them even. Because they're, they're, they're reverse molded from each other. You can see on one side... There's uh, all the holes. So they're even labeled left to L2 and R1. That's funny. Okay. So if this guy's got such a horrible robot mode, he must have a really decent looking vehicle mode. He does. And we will get to the vehicle mode. But first, we need to check out the, uh, the cool aspect of these guys. So first we're going to transform him to his weapon mode. You're going to use these hinges on the inside here to close the legs together as if you were transforming him back into vehicle mode. And go ahead and, and, and put together the wheels while you're at it. So you gotta line them up right there, okay. Then we're gonna take the engine section. You're going to turn the head around, or can I push the head in? The head does go in, and then you push the engine section up and over, or do you just leave it down? You can just leave it down, actually. Then close, turn these around. Yes. These have to get turned around. Again, it's as if you're turning them back into uh, his his vehicle mode. And actually, that stays up there as part of the targeting system, I think. Close these hands together. Close this bumper grill thing together. And now we're supposed to be able to take your figure here and stick them in the back like this. This is what he's supposed to do. You can take that down and, and there we go. Let's go ahead and mount some extra firepower on this thing. And actually, I'm going to peg them on like this so that it kind of blends in with the profile yeah he, he he's in a flying gun that's kind of funny but you don't 
again, you don't bother with this right here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring Scourge back in here. And we're going to talk about this piece right here. So you can have it that way or have it this way. You don't want it this way so that you can... Can I put it up? Oh, you can put it up that way even. Okay. It's your choice. Have it your way. But um, now... Oh, phew, it's so heavy it won't even hold it. He, he, he can't even hold it up. Let me... Can I mount it on his arm? There we go. You see like I'm mounted in the arm. There we go. And we've got this big old giant cannon here. This is why you got the mech tech dudes. Because they were target masters. And that is an impressive big old cannon. I really do enjoy that. But let's go ahead and finish the transformation, shall we? We're going to have to re-unpeg the wheels here to get them out of the way. Then close up this little um, this, um, um, arm tab thing, whatever you want to call it. Fold that out, and then you're going to use those knee joints. And you got to manipulate these tires and wheels to get out of the way and make sure that's forward like that. And fold the entire thing up and over to close that down. Reorientate the tires. And get those pegged into place. Reorientate the machine guns. I like to, you know, give it a cleaner profile and have those down like that. Push that all back in place. And now we have a three-wheel prowler motorcycle which is pretty cool in its own right. I'm going to get Sergeant Detour situated on here. So we got Backfire here in his vehicle mode. And like it scales really well with that human figure. I like the way it looks. It rolls very well. It's... I think they took some, some artistic liberty with the design and the shape of it, but that's a three-wheel prowler motorcycle, and there's the undercarriage there. The head tucks away very nicely. The back wheel can adjust. You can maneuver the guns around. Let's go ahead and bring in Film Noir Spider-Man. We can bring in Scourge and Hubcap, and like, yeah, that that don't scale well at all but it's okay let's bring in the car bots and the soda can and like yeah this dude's this dude's pretty much smaller than a soda can if you want your own mint in box he's going for like 30 bucks on ebay which really isn't terrible you know, he, he's going on a 10, 15-year-old figure right now. He was originally like $8, $10 originally. So, yeah. And you can get them loose for a pretty good price also. Do you need the guns? Not really. Do you need the pilot? Not really. If you're going to get this guy, don't worry about the robot mode. You're getting him for that cool gun mode. So, yeah. Whoa, hello. Don't know what that was. I'll go ahead and stick that on the end of a video. That I'm going to wrap this up before I have any other issues with my camera. Um, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Mech Tech Human Alliance, Backfire. Get them for the gun mode. Get them for the cool Prowler motorcycle mode. Don't worry too much about the robot mode. I'm Colwyn. Thanks for watching.